Hi girls, I'm Beth and I am so excited to be here with you today. This is my absolute favorite video that I do all month. This is my monthly favorites, the video where I show you all of those hair, skin, and makeup products that I've been using and loving in the previous month. And how I do it in terms of makeup is I figure out the products that I want to test and I put them in one of these plastic bins in front of me and I use pretty much only those products all month so I can really give you a fair representation of what that product is. And I will say I had so many favorites this month that I've broken this video down into two parts. So this is part one, which is makeup, which is my favorite actually. And my second video will be skincare and hair care. And so that will be a totally different deal. But anyway, if you like makeup, then I'm glad you're here. And I just looked in the monitor and I realized that my hair was a little flat. And so I'm using, this is not one of the favorites that I have in here, but I love this stuff. This is the Kenra, what is it called? Kenra Dry Texture Spray. And it just helps you get a little more texture in your hair. I probably will really mess this up doing it live on camera. Look a little weird. Let me give it a moment to dry. And then what I do is I just sort of pull it out. Once in a while I brush it. Maybe I do need to brush it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we go. And that just gives it a little more PC, kind of more of a tessel volume type look. And I really do like that look. Okay, let's get into this video because I have a ton to show you today. The first thing I have to show you is this little foundation, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, and I wear it in the color Nude. This one is almost gone, and I made the mistake of ordering this in Warm Nude, I think. And it's over by the door because I'm going to take it to the girls at work because Warm Nude just did not work on me. So I had to buy this other one, which is in Nude again. So I'm all loaded and ready to keep using this foundation. If you like peaches and cream skin with a medium to full coverage foundation, and I would say this is really a medium foundation, and I'm finding recently that I need the medium rather than the full because the full makes me look like the Crypt Keeper a lot of the time. But with medium, you know, you can put it on and have it as sheer as you want on the outsides, but in the insides where you have like redness on the nose and chin and little areas Areas you want to cover you can really cover everything very beautifully with this they call it a comfort matte foundation and I would totally agree with that however it does let a little bit of your natural glow come through and it comes in many different colors and if you're looking for a new foundation you might want to give this one a try because I think it is wonderful now I have been getting into Charlotte Tilbury in a huge way I mean almost an embarrassing way and they're not sending me anything I am buying all of these products and I think I'm about done buying Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury just because I've pretty much got most everything in her line that I could possibly want. But this is what I am wearing on my face today, one of the Charlotte Tilbury products. And this is a great one if you're new to Charlotte Tilbury because this is her instant look in a palette, five minute face on the go, and it really is very quick. And I am just loving this. I've used this one for about a week. I got this in about a week ago but I really do like the option just to grab one palette and be done. In this palette, you have a beautiful primer shade. She calls that primer. Isn't that a lovely, lovely shimmer? And I think I need a little bit of a mild shimmer on the lids just to kind of wake up my eyes, my aging eyes. And basically what you do is you put, put this on with a brush, but all over your lid up to your brow. That's what I have on right now. And then here is the crease color and it is a gorgeous color. It reminds me so much of the transition color in the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, which is one of my favorite palettes that I could hardly drive myself away from using. It's kind of like the color Cashmere Bunny in there almost exactly. And as you can see, it is a very, very natural brown. It just gives you truly that eyeshadow look, not that you know intense kind of striped look that you can get sometimes with the darker transitions. So it's a very mild transition color. However, you can make that as dark as you want. I'm going to work today, so I chose to make it rather daytime. And this is a great black to put in the crease to bring this into a more smoky look, a more evening time look. My husband and I went out to dinner to celebrate a friend of ours' birthday last night, and I used this palette, but I used this in the crease, and it gave me a very dark, dramatic eye. And then here is a little bit of a bronzer. Very, very natural. It's what I have on my cheeks today. You can tell, extremely natural. And then here is the highlighter, and this is a very mild highlighter. This is not anything that's going to be super glowy. See that? Just a very, very subtle glow. 
Got to be careful that I don't start ruining this makeup. But I did not wear this one because she also has a face palette that I'll show you, and I use the highlighter from that one. But this is her Cheek to Chic Blush, which is a two-tone blush, and those are fabulous blushes. And this is in kind of a corally tone. And really, as much as I like the in-your-face pinks and fuchsias, because I just love that color, I am finding over my years of being on YouTube that really these corally ones are really much better for us because our skin is tan and the coral just blends in beautifully and it looks super natural. I almost feel like I could use a little more blush here, but the next palette I'm going to be showing you has blush in it, so I'll go ahead and apply a little bit of that. But this is a fabulous palette, especially if you're new to Charlotte Tilbury or if you don't want to have 10 different products to put on your face every morning, this is a great one. Okay, now I have another little Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette to show you, but since I just mentioned her face palette, I will go ahead and show this to you. I love this. This is beautiful. And yesterday I had the five minute face palette on and then I think I had the highlighters. I know I had the highlighters from this palette. I may have had one of these blushes on. I can't remember which palette I, I got the blush from. But I went to Chanel because I've heard there's a fantastic loose powder there. And the lady behind the counter said, what do you have on your face? It is absolutely beautiful. And I was kind of impressed that she really liked it. In this Charlotte Tilbury face palette, you have a little pinky blush, and then you have a very intense corally blush, and then you have two different highlighters here. I wear this one because I'm a little more fair, and then you have a contour here, and this is what the contour looks like. Very, very nice, natural looking contour. And then she has given you a powder, and I use her Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. I don't know that that's what that is, but I would imagine maybe it was because that's the only pressed powder she has. So this is really a full face palette. I really like it that she's even giving you the powder there. Well, let's go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. And this is Charlotte Tilbury's blush brush, and I didn't put her brushes in this video just because I had so much here, but I do like her, her brushes for sure. And what I think I'll do here is mix together these two colors and just add a little bit of extra here. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Try not to overdo. Sometimes I can really overdo, too much of a good thing. But look at that, very, very pretty. Very natural with a little bit of glow. Both of those blushes have a little bit of glow, which I really do appreciate. Absolutely a gorgeous full face palette. Now my next favorite is also a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, and I will be showing you a drugstore eyeshadow palette in a minute. It's so funny, I go through phases. Last month, about everything in my faves video was like under $5 because I really went through a Catrice phase, which is a great brand, and I showed some Essence products and I love them. But this month, really for me, has been much more high-end. Unfortunately, it has been Charlotte Tilbury and it's been so much fun. This is her Golden Goddess eyeshadow palette, and this is a fabulous palette. And I ordered probably eight out of 10 of her little eyeshadow palettes because I was really getting into them. I love them, they are fabulous. And I would say this is the most popular eyeshadow palette that she has. And really so far, this is my favorite. Although she does have a matte one called the Sophisticate, which is very neutral colored mattes. And I really like that one too, which surprised me because I do tend to like a little bit of a glow. Here is her primer shade, an absolutely beautiful, subtle kind of a shimmer. Here is the Enhance shade, or she calls it Enhance, and that is a beautiful, kind of a shimmery natural brown that goes in your crease, but it is very mild shimmer. And then here is the Smoke shade, and this is what you can wear at night to really drama it up, to put a little bit in the outer V. And this is a great shade called a Pop shade. Isn't that just lovely? And what you do with that, you just put it on your finger and then just press it onto your eyelid and it really gives you a beautiful accent. Man, I am so tempted to do this right now. Okay, I'm going to do it. We'll see, I hope I don't ruin my eyeshadow. And I don't even have a mirror here, so we'll see. I'll do it very subtly. Well, you can hardly see that. Let me try it again. I'm famous for ruining my makeup. Well, I'm not going to do it darker than that, but you can get kind of an idea of how it looks. And you really dig your finger in to get that out. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Oh, let me do it again on that side. I like it a little bit towards the, the center. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? That really did perk up that kind of basic eye look. Oh my, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are just wonderful. 
Now, my next fave is something I have been struggling with. And as I've been telling you, I have all these different little beauty problems that I've decided, you know, I have this YouTube channel, I have all of this makeup, all of this skincare, and I'm going to use my channel to help me solve my personal beauty problems. And I think this little guy may have done that. If you're a blonde and you're looking for eyebrow pencils, you know how tough it can be because they tend to be too ashy, too orangey, too dark for your hair, too light for your hair. This is an absolutely great one, and I don't know if you can see that color. It's a little kind of a grayed out brown, which is perfect for many of us blondes, and I won't put it on here. Well, maybe I will just a little bit, but it is perfect to draw in my tails, which I've used a brow product that has really helped my tails a lot, but basically I still do need to draw them out just a little bit, and I like to use this color too to go in on the hairs and make them a little less dark. My makeup mirror is over to the side here, which is not, not doing me any favors. Here, let, let me move this back to where I can actually use it. Okay, makeup mirror in place. And so this is kind of how I use this, to kind of lighten up those brows just a little bit. And I really do like this MAC pencil. It looks natural. It wears all day. And I really think this has solved one of my beauty problems, which I'm so happy about. Now, next is a concealer, and as many of you know, I have been loving this Milani Conceal and Perfect. It replaced my Tarte Shape Tape, and it does a fabulous job. So if you want a drugstore brand of concealer, I think this was even in my last monthly faves. I didn't mean for this one to really be in here, but I did want to give you a less expensive option on concealer, and this one from Milani is fabulous. But I have really been loving this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and I won't put that on because obviously I've got this on already, but it has one of these great little doe foot applicators, which is just like the Maybelline concealer that everyone loves. And I really don't like the Maybelline one so well because it doesn't seem to do the product any favors on that Maybelline sponge tip. It just doesn't seem to come out. This one is kind of interesting because you have to, you know, you can hear these little clicks here. You have to do a lot of clicks to get it first to start. But then after that, you just do one or two each time. And a lot of the time, I'll come back to this after having used it the day before, and I don't even need to use a click at all. And it goes on absolutely beautifully. It wears all day, and there's some moisture in this that does not accentuate fine lines under my eyes, which really makes me happy. And so basically what I do is I just spread that all under my eyes and half the time I also put it on my lids and kind of use it as an extra primer. Then I go in with my Sigma Precision Angle Brush, which is the concealer brush that I've been using for about a year. Love this brush. But anyway, if you've been seeing this concealer and wondering how good it is, I think it's really fabulous. Okay, the next problem that I always wrestle with is these blue veins under my eyes. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I've gone to Dr. Fort in New York recently, about two months ago, and he has injected some veins on my face, some more of the veins on my hands, and some veins in my feet. And in two months, all of that healing will be finished, and I'll show you the results that I got using sclerotherapy on the veins in those areas. But he was not able to get the little blue veins that I have under my eyes. He says if I lived in New York, he could probably get them, but they're very tough to hit with a little needle, and he missed it, unfortunately, in both of those eyes. So I still have the blue veins to cover, and mine are very prominent and always have been. And the two products I use to help cover them up are peach perfectors, and one is Charlotte Tilbury, and one is Catrice, which is a great drugstore brand. This is the Catrice Camouflage Cream in Peach, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cream in 2 Medium. And I'll just go ahead and show you the Charlotte Tilbury product, and I'll show you how it looks. It comes out just as peach. There's the peach there. It goes on like a little cream, and peach does tend to cover up and null out anything dark that we have on our face. So it is great on the inside here. Okay, I'm going to be dangerous here. Half the time I do this, and then when I see it in editing, I realize I did not do a good job, and I'm wearing a weird thing for the rest of the video, which is not good. As you can see, it just kind of nulled out that dark color. I'll do it over here again. I really have problems with the blue in here. So that is how that looks, and I had never really heard anything about this product in any YouTube videos, and I just saw it on her website, and I ordered it, and I've really, really been pleased with how it does work. Let me real quick powder that so I'm not looking weird. And I'll go ahead and use a little bit of my banana powder. It's Essence. 
and it's a very inexpensive brand, but I still love this. It was in my last monthly favorites video. It's the Essence Brighten Up Powder. Um, I did break the lid off of it, unfortunately, but it is only $2.99, so what can you expect? And at $2.99, I'm going to go back and get another one of those because it does kind of drive me crazy that the lid is broken. Now, my last eyeshadow palette I'm going to be showing you is from Colab, and that is the brand that is at Sally's Beauty, and it was created by like either four or five YouTubers, hence the name Colab, and I am really, really loving their products. I saw Tati do a great video, a full face, using this particular Colab eyeshadow. It's a little hard to get open. Why am I having a hard time? Okay, because it surprises you. It opens from the side, but there are those wonderful eyeshadows, and for fall, I think these are absolutely gorgeous colors. It has a couple of great lid colors, a wonderful transition color, a little more shimmer here if you want to go a little more dramatic, a very dark outer V color, absolutely beautiful colors. I'll go ahead and show you. There's one of the shimmers. Oh, isn't that lovely? Absolutely love it. There is a matte, very good transition color, very, very natural. And, and here is a burgundy-ish kind of a shimmer, which is absolutely lovely. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? These are fabulous shadows. They're very highly pigmented, and yet they blend beautifully. Really, to me, these are just as good as the Charlotte Tilbury shadows, and they have a lot of these different palettes with gorgeous colors. Absolutely love this. Now, another great product that I found from Colab at Sally's Beauty is this mascara, and it is the mascara that I have on, and it is called The Works, and they say it looks like lash extensions, and amazingly, I really think that it does. And for some reason, under these lights, my mascaras never look as intense as they really are in real life. In real life, it almost looks like my eyelashes go clear up to my brows. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I have been wearing this mascara pretty much all month, and I love it. It's going to be hard to tear myself away from it next month. But it has a very nice brush. It is a plastic brush, but then it has little separated rows of bristles that really help to separate your lashes and make them look long and separated. And they call it the works because they say it does everything you need, which I think it does. It adds great volume and it adds lovely length. I don't know if you can see that. I always get weird looks in my eyes when I'm trying to show you my mascara, but I absolutely love this. I'll put another little coat on. Oh my, this is beautiful. And I've had several other favorites in the past. I love the, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love the Stila Huge Extreme Lash, but to me, this collab is absolutely equal to any of those. And I'm realizing that in mascaras, there are two camps, and I really follow this too. There's a natural camp that really just likes things darkened up and very separated and not false lash look. And then there's the other camp of mascaras where someone really likes the Va Va Voom drama. And I am really more of the Va Va Voom drama, although there are those days when I really do like that natural lash. And this is not a natural looking lash, but it is a great one. Okay, one more eye product, and this is a little workhorse. And this is the Surratt Eyelash Curler, and it is from Sephora, there it is. And for some reason it has a little tag on it that says Surratt. And I was looking for an eyelash curler, again, solving one of my beauty problems, which was lashes that would not stay curled, and using eyelash curlers that I really didn't feel were, were doing very much at all. And so I did some research and I looked up on Sephora and at that time, this was the highest rated lash curler, the Surratt. And I think it's a little bit over $20, so it's a little bit pricey, but you just put it on your bare lashes and give it a squeeze for five to 10 seconds. And man, it really does curl your lashes. And I'm noticing that the curl stays in with the Surratt eyelash curler, which I really, really like. Now we're getting winded down here, girls. I know this is a long video, but now we're into lip products and I have three products on my lips. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolutions in Very Victoria, which is this color right here. And as you can tell, I've used the heck out of it, but it is a rosy brownish, kind of a nude. I still consider this a nude. I'll go ahead and put it on again. I'm putting, I'm putting it on over my gloss. Here I go, ruining my makeup again. Well, you can kind of get a feel for what that color is. That gloss is still coming through, but I love that Very Victoria. It is my second favorite to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is a lighter nude. And then for a lip liner, I'm using her Lip Cheat in the color Love Trap. And this is a color that is darker than most of my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. It is a darkish, kind of a brownish, rosy color. 
and I have a lot of her light ones and really Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners that and Mac are probably my two absolute favorite lip liners but this is a very good color for any of your darker tone more fall lipsticks I love that color called Love Trap. And then over that, I have this great Charlotte Tilbury gloss, and I think it's one of her most popular ones. I certainly like it the best of the ones that I have. And this is her gloss in Ibiza Nights. Ibiza Nights. And there is a look at that, and I'll go ahead and put that on so you can see what it looks like. It's just a little golden shimmery type color. And I absolutely love that color of gloss, and a lot of people carry it. You can find this in a more drugstore version. I think this gloss is absolutely beautiful, and I believe it works with lots of lipsticks. Any lipstick that you think is just a little too intense in tone, you can use this to tone it down and just blend it into the rest of your face. Absolutely love this Ibiza Nights. Last, I'm into three products that I was sent in PR, and one of them I really liked, and two of them I really did not like. And they're all from Pure, and that is a brand that I really like a lot of the cosmetics in. And when I saw that they were offering these, I ordered these products because I thought, you know, mostly I love the Pure brand. It is wonderful. And I really, really like this foundation. And I wore it yesterday to that friend's birthday party, and I wish I'd ordered this in the right color. Here it is, it's a little stick foundation. And this foundation is available in 24 colors and it's called the four in one. And this is a look at that foundation, absolutely beautiful. I'll show you that color on my hand. And unfortunately, it is just the slightest bit too light for me. I should have gone a little bit darker. They have this in 24 shades and I like this so much that I'm going to go ahead and order one of my own and it might show up in a future monthly faves because I love how this looked on my skin last night. It is in a medium to full coverage foundation that is buildable and it totally like nulls out anything that you don't want people to see on your face, but in a good way. It doesn't give you the Crypt Keeper kind of heavy looking oily foundation look. It just nulls out your pores, mattifies your skin, covers any red marks. First I thought it was too light. I knew it was too light and I kind of, you know, put some bronzer on it and I wore it out last night and I felt like the coverage was absolutely beautiful. I looked absolutely flawless in this, but when I got home, I just walked in my bathroom and looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my gosh, I look totally white, like pasty white, too white. And I was kind of embarrassed that I'd worn it. And I asked my husband, did I look pasty white all night? And he's like, no, I didn't even notice. You look just fine. So maybe I was the only one that noticed it, but I'm not going to wear this again because that color is just the wrong shade for me. But I think I will be reordering this because I love this and it didn't get oily. I didn't have to powder it last night. It was absolutely a beautiful foundation. And there's something about the stick formula foundations. I wish they had more of them because I really do love them. They also sent me this little chisel brush, they call it, to apply the foundation. And I did not care for this. It's sloppy, kind of loose bristles. And it just kind of, when it went on my face, the bristles went every which way and they really kind of left me streaky. And my favorite foundation brush of all time is the Sigma Kabuki brush. And I spray this with five sprays of Urban Decay, which I did with this too. But I actually tried this brush on one side and this brush on the other. And I ended up going back over my face with this whole thing because this guy just did not do the trick. This produced absolutely beautiful results with that Pure Stick Foundation. And then Pure also sent me this little primer, which I was looking forward to because I do love that brand. This is the four-in-one correcting primer. And I use this for the last two mornings at work in both mornings by about 11 o'clock, even though they say this is anti-blemish and mattifying, and they even call it an acne treatment, because I think it may have some salicylic acid in it or something like that. For some reason, come about 11 o'clock in the morning, I looked like an oil slick, totally greasy. I don't know if this irritated my skin and caused those oil glands just to pump out the oil, but it was not a pretty look unless you want to be like a stoplight. I just was like, Woo! <laughs> very, very bright and greasy. So I would not recommend this product. Pure products generally are wonderful, but to me, this one just did not work at all. Okay, that is the end of my September makeup faves, and I had a lot of them, I know. And again, there'll be a part two to this video that has some great skincare and hair care products and some kind of new ways that I'm doing my skin, just a little bit about that. And if you'd like to see that video and you're not a subscriber, if you subscribe and click that bell, you'll get an email notification of that video. I absolutely love these favorites videos because it's like I'm sharing all of my wonderful products, the things I love with my girlfriends, and I always love to do that in person, and I always like to do that through YouTube too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, 
and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and choose a card, a good positive thought to think about for today. Ooh, peace is in my pulse. Peace is in my pulse. Well, that's kind of a weird card, but let me think. Peace is in my pulse. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense because usually my pulse is racing, ladies. I just am like a horse, I guess, raring to go all the time. And it does take things like meditation to calm my pulse down, to calm me down. And really, I guess to me, that could be what this card could mean. Peace is in my pulse. Because when we take the time to kind of settle down, sit in our favorite chair, read a book, do even five minutes of meditation, which I do maybe five to seven, 10 makes me even a little bit nervous. But basically, that is so true that peace is in our pulse. When we take the time to settle down, our pulse goes down and there is peace in that for sure. So friends, just for today, let's try to remember not to just look at this day as a harried, crazy, hectic to-do list to be completed. Let's try to remember that peace is in our pulse and to slow down, smell the roses and enjoy our lives. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.